quickly go to the demo and uh, before going to the demo i will try to explain the use case what exactly we are going to do in this video okay okay so actually you know uh, in our previous video right here just go through this video here i have already explained how to export logs from the cloud logging module to different things using routers so it can be a PubSub or it can be a Google Cloud Storage, it can be a BigQuery. So please go through this video before uh, watching this video, okay? So so we have already created a sync that is Google Cloud Storage sync, okay? So daily it is exporting some logs into Google Cloud Storage packet. So we will try to read those logs into our Apache Beam pipeline, which runs on Google Cloud Data Flow, okay? So, and it will process those logs and uh, it will try to write that extracted or transformed data into again Google Cloud Storage bucket and also Google BigQuery table. So, this is the use case, okay. So, again, I've already uh, done a video and I've already done a demo and you can go through this video, okay. So here I've clearly explained, okay? And I will also try to share the code, that Apache Beam code, which runs on Dataflow uh, along with this video description, okay? So uh, in this demo, so mainly I am focusing on how to schedule and run Google Cloud Dataflow batch up using Composer, okay? Here in that act, mainly we are using Dataflow Python operator, okay? So, so using this operator, we are going to run our Cloud Dataflow batch job. So I hope you are clear, okay? And uh, let us quickly move to the demo, right? So this is the uh, uh, Composer environment which we have been using. So I've already kept open our Airflow web UI to monitor uh, our jobs, uh, that means DAGs, okay? And also we do have a, uh, right, our DAX folder where we are going to deploy our DAG, okay. So I also created one more folder inside the DAG folder. So here actually I'm going to place our Apache Beam uh, batch job Python script, okay. So because Composer always reads Python or Bash scripts from its DAX folder, you can create some subfolders under the DAG folder. Okay, so that if you specify that this particular path over there in the DAG, so it will read this file and it will just trigger that pipeline on a data flow environment. Okay, now uh, before going to going to the actual DAG code, so this is the code, the batch pipeline code. I've already explained clearly uh, in this video. Already, I've already shown you right in this video. I've clearly explained. Please go through this video it is strongly recommended before coming to the current video please go through this entire video so that you will be clear and you will learn something okay so I hope you are clear so let us proceed with our demo uh, I'm I'm going through the code actually DAC code okay so this is our DAC code okay so anyway, I've explained already what are the basic components of the DAG in my previous videos. You can go through those videos, okay? So here the, we have the import statement. We are using this Dataflow Python operator. This is an inbuilt operator, okay? And then uh, there is a, some custom Python logic. So I am just uh, defining even default arguments for the DAG, right? The start date uh, for the DAG is yesterday. So I've derived this value over here, okay? And then the DAG definition, right? This is the DAG name, okay? And I'm scheduling this DAG once in every 24 hours, okay? So you can also specify this schedule time in standard quanta format, okay? So I have a dummy start operator and I have a dummy end operator. Now just concentrate on this particular task, okay? This is the task name and this is the operator. This operator takes certain input arguments, right? This is the task name and this is a Python file where uh, I've already shown you, right? We have placed this Python file over here under DAX folder. We have a 
for folder called scripts so here I have placed that pipeline script okay so this DAC or that code will read that patch pipeline code from this path okay I hope you are clear now again let us go to the code okay this is the path I have mentioned and uh, I am also mentioning some default output path so we have uh, trying to write data into GCS bucket right so for that you can go to uh, buckets right here I am trying to write our output data which is uh, transformed and written from that uh, data flow batch pipeline okay now I have mentioned that output path okay now we have to pass certain input arguments or certain options to the this operator like what is the project in which you are running this data flow pipeline so this is our project name and we have to mention the staging location as well so that's why i have created that staging and temporary folder in a different bucket right so we have to mention those details over here because it will whenever the data flow pipeline is processing the data it will write some internal files or internal data into these two locations okay and especially writing some data into BigQuery also it will uh, make use of these two folders maybe a temp or staging okay so that that's why we have to mention staging and temporary folder if you don't mention it will throw an error okay so I hope you're clear these are the some important arguments it is taking then uh, the final the final task is the dummy end task right so here we are just mentioning or setting the dependency right so start and then we have a data flow batch uh, process lock task and then end right so I hope you are clear okay I will also share this code along with the video description just go through it okay so now we are we will deploy this code into our DAX folder okay here and uh, so I have this file uh, uh, in my local machine so uh, I don't have this file in my cloud shell environment so so right away I can upload this file from my local machine right so this is the DAC code okay just upload it okay so now yeah you can see this file is deployed into DAX folder now go to our airflow web UI so now just refresh this page you should be able to see that DAG now you can see this DAG is already run, running successfully deployed and already running so click on this and go to the graph view now you can see uh, start task has been successfully completed now you can see data flow batch process log job is running this will take uh, maybe six to seven minutes because this will be running on the data flow environment so you can see uh, before going to the data flow job in the code right it has been reading data from this gcs path location the parade bucket created uh, uh, to which uh, logs will be exported right on a periodic basis so this is the bucket and uh, the folder structure we have a different folders this is one folder and you can see uh, data access and year and month and date so we have a subfolders for each and every day so the next thing it is trying to create this table right this table under this data set okay and it will write the transform data and also it is trying to write some of the transform data into this GCS bucket okay output this is a file name okay once we uh, see that data flow job is successfully completed you should be able to see these two files available in this respective destination okay uh, now let us go to the data flow jobs uh, refresh now you can see this job is running has been triggered from composure environment right so it is running so it will take six to seven minutes we'll have to wait till that time see now you can see this job is getting completed you can see so some of the uh, stages have been successfully completed you can see it 
them in dark green color right now i think this is completed data flow batch job is completed so it will take some time uh, to get that control get that status right uh, into uh, composure environment that's why you can see still it is in light green status it shows still this job is running but in the data flow you can see this is already completed okay so now you should be able to see this should be uh, converted into dark green color yeah now you can see now it is showing in dark green color that means it is successfully completed right if you click on this task and go to the logs now you should be able to see all the logs related to that data flow batch job right you can see these logs okay very lengthy logs okay Ex executing success step success something like the cleaning up and worker pool tearing down stopping worker right job state done right so whatever you will see here in the log section right so you will see over here in the composure logs as well okay so this is how you can schedule data flow jobs using data flow python operator right so if you have your apache beam pipelines written in the python right python sdk you can use this data flow python operator now we will verify the outputs okay so first of all we'll go to the gcs bucket okay uh, now this is where uh, our batch pipeline will write our output data as per our configuration now you can see uh, the data has been written just open up here so you can see the transform data right and the second output will be written to the bigquery table so let us quickly refresh this page and uh, we should be able to see the table is successfully created and we should be able to see the data now you can see uh, this is the data table right uh, our pipeline code this is the file name we've already seen in the gcs bucket and this is the table name right so yeah you can see the same table name uh, you can preview the data now you can see this is the transform data right so i hope this will help you a lot right and uh, in the upcoming videos and we can make some complex use cases and uh, we'll try to demo those use cases so so that's it for this video thank you thank you very much